What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mal. If you're new here, I am currently working on saving up our $2,000 emergency fund and working on getting our single income family out of consumer and medical debt. If that sounds like something you would be interested in following along with, please hit that subscribe button. I would surely appreciate having you. Alright, so I am going to do a week one check-in and uh, make sure everything is going smoothly, make sure we're staying on budget, not spending too much out of <laughs> out of the budget that we have set up. I'm going to start off with the monthly view. This is everything that we have accounted for that is going out, all of the bills and expenses that we know are coming out in the month of February. Um, so, so far, uh, we have the orthodontist that uh, I sent a check for that that has not been let's see that has not been cashed yet uh, our loan that has been accounted for the mortgage check let's see that has been accounted for so everything I'm checking off um, I have pretty much paid everything except for the music uh, the instrument here is that comes out automatically on the 12th so um, everything else I'm looking at uh, I have either sent a check for or paid online and I'm checking off the things that have actually um, been accounted for as far as our, our bank goes alright so the electricity and USAA those have both come out Right. Let's see, internet that has not come out yet. Lowe's has not come out yet, but water has. All right, so we're just waiting on the orthodontist, Lowe's internet to clear, and then the instrument will come out, like I said, automatically on the twelfth. Okay, so I'm going to go to our Paycheck 1 breakdown. So if you watch that video, um, we already set up the budget on um, all of our expected income and expenses. Um, my husband, in the past, I mean the past few months, it has been pretty consistent, 15, 27, and some change. For whatever reason, this one was a couple of dollars shorter. So... He actually got let's see fifteen twenty-four twenty-six. I mean not the biggest deal in the world, but anytime you're short, you know, it's it's annoying. <laughs> Alright, so it's disability. Um we budgeted five fifty-eight and that was 558.35 and then we also have the miscellaneous and rollover um, this will actually will do at the end of the pay period because we still have another week to go to see if we get any other income okay so down to expenses our mortgage that is exactly as we budgeted at seven twenty six ninety one. The loan is also the same for one hundred. Ortho one forty nine. Electricity one sixty nine oh two. All of these are pretty much going to be the same. Um, there's no reason for this not to be $84, but since it hasn't come out yet, I'm going to leave it just in case something crazy happens. Um, internet, that has not, or that check has not cleared yet, but I did write it for $79.99, so that's that. Water was $59.28. Lowe's, let's see... 69 let's see yep uh, cash I did withdraw two hundred and thirty one dollars for the cash envelopes and savings challenges I 
should not withdraw anymore so we'll go ahead and say that was 231 sinking funds uh, probably not going to put any in in this paycheck but I'll leave it blank just in case debt snowball we planned for 77 um, just in case we can do more I'm going to leave that as well and then we have unbudgeted for 428.43 all right so so far we are pretty much on track with the bills I mean these are all things that or amounts that are expected they're pretty much the same every single month uh, some of those credit card bills might fluctuate a dollar or two every now and then but it's pretty much the same all right so now we're going to go back to our weekly check-in for february these are the cash envelope categories um let's see so we did a cash stuffing video already so we did um in week one I have that as January 29th that is the day that my husband got paid it's always the last weekday in the month and then I just said through February 6th today is the 7th so everything that um, was going to be spent has been spent um, so groceries we added $300 we actually spent 100 Uh, let's see going back to January which you can see is pretty blank I did not start this until the end of the month so um, so groceries we started out with six hundred and forty five dollars adding three hundred so nine forty five then minus one hundred we should have eight hundred and forty five dollars I'm just gonna count that really quickly just to make sure so, one, two, three, four, fifty, wait, four, seventy, four, ninety, five, ten, five, thirty, five, fifty, five, seventy, five, ninety, six, ten, six, thirty, six, fifty, six, seventy, six, ninety, seven, ten, seven, thirty, seven, fifty, seven, seventy, seven, ninety, eight, ten, eight, thirty, forty, eight, forty, five. Okay, so we have $845 left in groceries. Next is gas. We added $25 in this paycheck. We left off with $70. We have not spent any in this envelope yet, so we should have $95. I'm going to double check. 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. All right, $95 there. Okay, food, I budgeted 100. Uh, we did, let's see, we spent 20, 35, so we should have 65 left. Fifty sixty-five. All right, so our numbers are spot on. Um, hair, we did not put anything in, but I should have a hundred and twenty left in there. It's twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. All right, 120. But since I honestly don't like the sanitizing practices in the salon I was going to, so I stopped going and just started kind of doing my hair myself. Um, I think what I'll do with the money that I have in this envelope, I'll just use that for. Um, hair care products I buy at the store 
um, until I find somewhere else to go. Cause it was just a little too crowded in there for everything that's going on. All right, so let's see. We since we um, have been saving everything, I haven't been spending a whole lot from these envelopes. Uh, we are still going pretty strong. We're under budget in all categories, so that's great. Um, next thing I want to do, I'm actually going to go back to the February section and I'm going to go over the spending tracker. This is, um, I have a check registry where I write down everything that we spend, everything that comes out of our bank account, I write it there. But here, I just keep track of anything that was unbudgeted, all money that was unaccounted for in the weekly or paycheck breakdowns. So basically that unbudgeted line, that is what this is for. So, so far, uh, we have not spent very much. That was not accounted for, so that's good. Uh, we did have on the 29th, and I'm sorry if this is small, I naturally write small, and then just to save space, I kind of do two transactions on each line anyway, so I hope you guys can see that. But on the 29th, we actually made a purchase at the post office for stamps. That amount was eleven dollars even. Okay, let's see, twenty ninth, the thirtieth, we bought uh, pizza. Since this technically did come out of our account, I'm going to write it down, but we did pay it back with the cash from the eating out envelope. That was twenty dollars even. All right, what's next? Nothing on the thirty first, first, second, or third. Then we get down to the fourth. And we had a transaction for two oh four forty. Oh, this was just a stupid thing. This is uh fine. I guess someone didn't like that we had one of our cars parked in our yard, so they complained and there was a whole thing. Anyway, we had to pay a stupid fine to the city, so that is what that was for. I wasn't sure. We knew it was coming. Uh, this was something that started at the end of last year. Uh, we knew it was coming. We just didn't know when. So I did not account for it. But we did get that bill. And went ahead and paid it. Okay. On the 5th of February... My husband went out of town for his side job and he forgot to take his dinner so when he got there he bought a burger or a meal really. That was eight ninety seven. And that is really it. We did not have anything yesterday. So the way that I split the month up, uh, the f end of week one was Saturday the 6th. Um, we did not spend anything on Saturday, so that is it for our week one spending. And I'm just going to total everything up here. So 11 plus 20 plus 204, 40 plus 8, 97. So this week we spent 
in $44.37. And I mean, that's not too bad considering the only thing that was really sort of unnecessary. I mean, you have to eat, but we just have to remember to, you know, use the money from our envelopes and stuff. So I would say this is the only one that was kind of unnecessary. Um, this is only going here because it was unaccounted for, but in the budget, but you know, it's technically a bill. This got paid back from the food envelope and then we needed stamps. I don't really have a category for things like this. Um, I don't know if you have any suggestions, you know, maybe you just do like a, an other category or something like that. But you know, when little things like that, that don't count as groceries or gas or, you know, whatever, like stamps, I don't really know how to, how to account for it. So it just goes in the unbudgeted. Um, so that is really it. Um, so week one, we are still doing pretty well. Um, everything that we have here, it, I mean, we're almost done with the bills coming out. Everything is pretty much paid for except for the instrument. And then we should not have anything else, you know, that comes up. So I think we are well on our way. Uh, another thing I did want to do was keep up with no spend days. And if you'll bear with me, um, I'll go ahead. I do have this. This was a kit left over from February of last year. So I'm going to use these stickers up. Um, just for ease, I'm not going to go back. Um, like I said, this paycheck technically or this week technically started for us on January 29th I'm not gonna go go that far back but we'll just start here so on the 31st and the first I did not spend anything I'm just gonna split that between the two okay the first second and third Okay, so yeah, I already said the first, sorry. So the second and third, we also did not spend anything, so we'll split a sticker between those two. The fourth, and you guys let me know what you think. Um, I mean, I'm clear on what no spend means, but since this, uh, the court fine was technically a bill would it count as a no spend day even though it was unaccounted for? I don't know. So I'll leave that blank for now. You guys let me know what you think. And let's see, so we did have that one transaction on the 5th and then on the 6th, that was yesterday, we did not spend anything. So Got a no spin day there. So we're doing pretty well. Um, today is the 7th. That will technically be week 2 for us. So we'll talk about that in our week 2 check-in. Again, you guys let me know what you think about uh, that fine issue. Does it count as a no spin day? Tell me what you think. All right, so I'm going to cut it off here. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it a little bit helpful. If you did, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.